Hey, I just want to go over how to edit your profile. You can edit your picture, your name, your email, how I contact you, how other people can contact you, all of that stuff. So, uh, when you're in your course, I'm just choosing one of my three courses here, but they all work basically the same. Um, go to account. See on the top left there, you see account and you see profile settings, notifications, files, and ePortfolios. We won't be using ePortfolios. Um, so let's start with the profile. Now the profile, you can set a picture here. And there's two ways you can do that. You see the little pencil? It says click to change profile pic means picture. So when I click on that pencil, then I have a choice of upload a picture or take a picture. Now, if you have a pretty picture, you can upload it. But if you just take a picture, you look more normal the way that other people will see you. As some people want to put the beautiful picture from their wedding or something, which, which is lovely, and that's fine. But I'd rather see what you look like on a normal day so that I can recognize you. So I'm going to go to take a picture. I don't know if it'll work while I'm recording. It might not. Um, no, that's not going to work while I'm recording. Um, but you see this allow or block. You would have to allow it to use your camera. And then it will just take a picture and you save it. I guess I'll have to upload a picture since I'm recording. So let's go to pictures. And I have lots of pictures. And if I go to pictures of uh, my husband and me, and then I have some pictures of me, and I pick one of when I was younger. No, I don't know. I'll just pick this one just for the fun of it. And then I can see how I can put the little circle where I want it so that your picture is in the right place and save. I'll move that up so I can hit the save button and save. If you just take a picture, then you just take a picture and click save. Now you have a face picture. Having a face picture is really helpful when we're having discussions because then people know who it is they're talking to. And it also makes it easier for you to get to know each other because you don't see each other in the classroom very often. We will have some group work later so that you'll get to know each other better too. Now, the next thing on my profile is my name, contact information, and all of that. So I want to go over here to the right to edit profile. So I need to click here again. You have that pencil means edit. And my name, well, this is, I have a student me so that I can practice as a student. Um, and it just has my email address. That's not a good name. So I want to put Deborah Brooks. But let's pretend that I have a name that is different from the one I use. One of my old students. You'll see him in a video uh, at some point. But when you have a name, one name that is official on your papers and a different name that you want me to use, please put it here. Because otherwise, I have to remember which name went with which name. If you turn in things with one name, you turn in files with a different name from the name on your um, official accounts, it gets a bit confusing. So if you could please edit that to put the name that you want me to use into your name. That would be very, very helpful. 
then the contact information, the biography you don't need to, you can put something here if you want, but it's also in the welcome forum. They can go there if they want to know. Um, if you want to put a few things here, you can. English teacher at Laney College. Live in, I live in Oakland with my husband. I have a big garden. So if you want to put something there, you can. You don't need to. Now on the contact, let's go to settings. It's registered services. I don't even know what that means, but um, we're going to the settings under contact. And then here you can edit your email address. So where do you want things to go from Canvas? When I correct something on Canvas. Now you can just come to Canvas to look at it. You can just sign into Canvas and see my comments on that assignment. Go to each assignment and see my comments on that assignment. But if you want to get an email or a text when a notification, when I have responded, you need to give them either an email address or a text, a cell phone number for texting. And if you give an email address, be careful here. You can change your login email address here. So be sure you want to do that because some of you have had trouble getting in. I still do want you to switch to your Peralta email, but until you have access to it, please don't do that. What I want eventually is for you to all have your Peralta email and then set up the Peralta email to forward to your normal email or just go in and check it regularly. But some of you may just want to get a text notification. Every time I grade something, you get a text, right? So that might be best for several of you. So if I put my email address here, I'm going to put my, my Gmail and register. It'll probably say it's already there, yeah, because um, that's the one I'm using. And then what are they going to use that for? Go back here to the left and see where it says notifications. You can choose what you want to get emails and texts about. So do you want to get emails and texts for any changes in, if I put an announcement, yes, you want to get one for an announcement? You want to get one for grades posted. You want to get one for invitation. I'm not sure what that means. Um, you want to get one for discussions. Now, do you want to get a notification for every response on your discussions? Maybe, maybe not. That would be a lot of email, but it's also very interesting. So that's up to you. Um, appointments, um, groups, alerts, yeah. So it's mostly what you want to get is if I post an announcement or if I change your grade or a submission comment. Yeah, you want to get a notification when I comment on your submission because some, a couple of you on the first one did not do it correctly and so you didn't get a grade yet but you did get a comment explaining why you didn't get a grade yet so you may not have seen that comment if you if you submitted and you didn't get a grade within 48 hours check because i look at this almost every day and if you didn't get a grade there may be some reason so um, the due date maybe means if you're past a due, due date, you'll get a notification. Again, I, this is my first time with Canvas, so I don't know what all of these mean. 
but you decide what you want to get an email about. I have an email address, or if you put a text, then you'll have the text there. What do you want to get a text about? This check mark means notify me right away. The clock, send a daily summary. The calendar, send a weekly summary. And the X, do not send me anything. So that's your choice on all of those items. So there, there are some automatic choices, but you really have a choice about that. Let's go back to the settings here. You can change your full name. You can change your display name. Um, now let's see how to change that. Now that's the picture. Edit settings. There we go. Edit settings. So you can change your display name. So let's say you want your, you have your name as Godang Lu, but you want your display name to be Luke. So that name is the name that people will see. Um, your language, do not change the language. This is an English class, do not change the language. Just keep it in English. Uh, the, our time is Pacific time, so that will give you your, your deadlines at the right time. Um, I want to receive information, news, and tips from Instructure that will give you junk mail. I don't think you want that. Um, and here you can change your password. So if your password is something crazy and you need to change that, you can do that here also. Um, let's go down here. Let fellow course members see what services I've linked. I think we want not on that, um, but we will see when we do the group work, we may need to have that checked. But at this point, I think you want to uncheck that. Be sure to click update. Click update so that it saves your settings. And there you go. Right then you have your full name, your display name, your time. So the time is you want the time to be correct so that your deadlines don't say that you're late. And a picture here. Okay? So you you have control. I can't change it. I can't fix it. I don't have access to your profile in Canvas. So if you could go in and change that. That is very helpful for both of us. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in class.